it's the time of the year. A lot of them are not actually coming in. They've been here all the time. Uh, but now is the time when they become really active because it's the spider mating season, particularly for the big house spiders. And the spiders you often see, crossing your hearth rug, are the males looking for females, fully grown and ready to mate to produce next year's crop of large spiders. Uh, the most important thing, basically, is house cleaning. Um, instead of having, uh, let's say, an autumn clean rather than a spring clean, getting rid of all the Tritus, old spider webs, anything else in your house uh, where spiders may be lurking, for example, uh, generally disturb the habitat, which is something they won't like. And in the process, you may well pick out the, um, the spider cocoons, get rid of those. And of course, that means that next year's uh, spider's crop won't actually happen because it'll be, they'll have gone. Also, uh, make sure you don't leave any food out. Um, spiders are predators. And they eat just about anything, mostly flies, but only other things about, like wood lice and so on. And those things that are prey items will be attracted by the food you've got in your house. So if you reduce the amount of food which is exposed, for example, covering up fruit bowl, putting things away and so on, then you reduce the prey availability for the spiders. The spiders will be less interested. You won't get rid of them, um, but uh, you almost certainly have less spiders and certainly less surviving spiders from, from each breeding season. In terms of getting spiders not to come in the first place, um, basically don't make the place too attractive, don't have an open house, particularly in the um, increasingly dark autumn evening. So if you leave your, your lights on and your windows open, you probably won't attract many spiders, uh, but what you certainly will attract will be small moths, flies, other insects. And they'll come into the house, settle down, and provide the spiders with an everlasting feast um, of autumn goodies, which is just what they need at this time of the year, so that they can actually get enough energy to breed and pine the females and so on. Spiders um, hunt mostly by vibration, but they're also very sensitive to, to smells. And they use, for example, pheromones, chemicals emitted by the females to locate mates, they can also apparently smell prey as well. Now, if you introduce a nice, strong, uh, let's say, um, oil-based scent into your house, something like lavender oil or tea tree oil, something like that, citrus, that masks those scents and prevents the spiders from operating normally. It might also, of course, um, distract them and, and move them away. But anything which you can use to disrupt their behavior will reduce the number of spiders. The thing about spiders in houses is that there is a small number of species of spiders, only half a dozen or so, which actually are house spiders. They live in houses in similar sorts of conditions. And that's probably the ones you'd always, you'd always tend to have. But of course, any time of the year, you can have any spiders coming in, just wandering in and wandering out again, which has nothing to do with the house at all. Um, you get tend to get more of the autumn because, again, they're, they're in the um, sort of mate hunting season. But generally speaking, um, you could have as many as 40 spiders in your house. You could have hundreds um, once they've bred, because uh, in that cocoon that the, the female spider will produce, you may have 50 eggs. And that can produce um, not 50, because they often eat each other, uh, you know, a couple of dozen uh, baby spiders for next year's crop, uh, most of which won't make it. But your number of spiders in the house is difficult to estimate. 12 would be an idea for the sort of common and types of inhabitants and the species you get. But you could have hundreds. And the, the standard method, method is usually to catch them underneath a tumbler or something like that and pop a bit of cards underneath to, to hold them inside if you don't mind getting too close and and just carry them outside and and throw them away in the garden. But make sure they're well away from the house. Uh, certainly the house spiders, they're attracted to the sorts of um, habitats which provide houses. Not, not just houses, but things like garages now, houses and so on. And they'll just walk straight back in again. So you could deposit them somewhere else. I wouldn't suggest to deposit them in next door neighbor's garden, but um, well away from the house. But the best way to actually deal with that situation is, is to provide them with some alternative um, habitat space in which they can actually live. So, for example, you know, don't completely clean out your, your old shed or your, your garage. That's a good spider habitat. Uh, you can build a habitat park. We've got one in the garden here. And it's basically just a pile of logs and twigs and branches. And spiders love that sort of habitat. And they will tend to stay in there. 